But for those not able to see their depression as an illness, it is really important to show what is actually happening inside the head. Examining the brain through imaging is a relatively new area of science. It's only been studied over the past 15 years or so. I've come to the University of Manchester, one of the main centres in the UK for brain imaging. The part of the brain responsible for memory and emotion is the hippocampus. It is here that depression shows up. What's fascinating is that the hippocampus in depressed people behaves differently than the hippocampus in those without the illness. And so this is a cut through the brain and I've just outlined in black the areas which were... Professor Ian Anderson is leading the research. There's been quite a, a number of studies which have suggested that people who are depressed don't just have an alteration in how the brain's working, but also actually in the structure of the brain. So there's, and the hippocampus has been one of the areas that's been most found to be smaller in people with depression. Smaller? Smaller. So you've got the, the hippocampus, mm. which is this part of the brain which deals with emotion. Yes, and memory, yes. And, and if someone develops depression, mm. are you telling me part of the hippocampus, the grey matter, shrinks? Well, that's what we've found. So a bit like if you don't exercise, your muscles shrink. It may be the same happens with the brain. If, you're, if a bit of the brain that's important uh, isn't functioning so well, that area uh, becomes essentially smaller. Professor Anderson explained to me how his studies show this change in the brain and how treatment affects it. Our group of patients were people who had been depressed on average about five months and the sort of people who'd be getting treatment from their general practitioner. And what we found was that if we looked at the hippocampus, we found a striking decrease in the amount of grey matter, that's the part of the brain that's got nerve cells and the connections between nerve cells in, uh, in people who are depressed. And this was about a 25% decrease. So it's a quite a striking and a staggering uh, change, in fact. Well, you're dead, right? It's staggering. So. People with depression in your study had 25% less grey matter than those non-depressed people. In, in, in this area of the hippocampus, that's right. 